Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Little Tika and Big Eats. As always, I'll be your host, Ari. And on tonight's family dinner menu, we are having a super easy and yet delicious chili with toasted garlic bread. So, let's begin. So guys, first thing is first. We are going to be using our trusty Instant Pot. As you can see, mine already says hot. So what we're gonna do is plug it on and then press saute and start heating it up so that we may uh, facilitate and speed this up a little bit. So let's move this forward and we're gonna sprinkle in a little bit of olive oil. Mm. And then we're gonna go ahead and use half an onion chopped, half a bunch of cilantro chopped, and half a red pepper chopped. And what we wanna do is start sauteing these. So let's toss those right in there. Mmm, it's sizzling already. Perfect, and let's move these out of the way. Now, let's just give that a good stir. Make sure it's coated with the oil. And let it continue to saute. I did want to mention this is actually uh, one of my easiest chili recipes. It's a go-to when we're super busy um, and it has felt like it happens to be that every week on this day we have a lot of things scheduled so we got to work with the schedule we got to have something that's just ready we don't have to babysit it and when everybody's ready to eat we can just grab and go so next we're gonna go ahead with our minced garlic and we're gonna go ahead and use a tablespoon or a little more if you love garlic mm -mm. And sometimes I do like to use um, fresh chopped onion, I'm sorry, tomatoes. But I made a little bit of a mistake on the grocery list this week. So what I am going to be using is going to be a little bit of marinara sauce. Definitely two cans of the red kidney beans, Goya. One can of the black beans, Goya as well. I love mixing the beans. And sadly, I purchased the wrong corn. Um, I purchased the sweet corn cream style, but we're still gonna go ahead and use a little bit of this because we need that sweetness in the chili. So, let's go ahead and give that a good stir again. We're gonna grab our beef. This is Clayton's beef, the one that I always use. And we're simply just gonna go ahead and break that apart as little as you can, okay? And let's wash off our hands, because this time I don't have gloves. Let's wipe that down, get rid of this. Perfect. So, first, we're gonna top off our ground beef. You, know, you guys know how I like to do it. Just a little bit of ketchup. I would say about a fourth of a cup. We're gonna go in with about five drops of hot sauce. But you can use more if you'd like. I do sometimes. A tablespoon of our spicy brown mustard. Mmm. And we're gonna go ahead mm, and pour in half a jar of our um, marinara sauce or tomato sauce, whichever you prefer. We are gonna leave this to the side in case we want to use some more. And then we're gonna go ahead with our black beans. Make sure that you drain the juices out of these cans this time. There goes one. And now our red kidney beans. I love these. Goya always makes everything so easy. 
Now, go ahead and make sure you scrape the bottom. Some beans could get stuck. Definitely sauteing. So now let's give this a good stir so we can break apart the meat a little bit. It should be a nice thick consistency so far. Don't forget that once this begins to cook, um, it creates juices. So it could make it a little watery. So we don't want to add too much liquid here. case I am going to be using the chicken bouillon two packets sprinkle that right in there enough flavor but not too salty we're gonna sprinkle in some paprika my forever favorite soul seasoning by Mimi's products and a sprinkle of black pepper. Now give it a good stir because you're going to hear it boiling at the bottom. Ready, guys just continue to let that cook for a little bit and we are going to be using um, well this is half a tablespoon of sugar but I'm going to say that we're gonna use half of this it's just a sprinkle so that it's not too acidic we need that sweetness in there as I mentioned before and we're going to go ahead and squeeze in a little bit of lemon juice, okay? For a nice, refreshing zing. Let's wipe our hands because it gets a little wet. And give it a good stir again. Let's make sure we have all those ingredients in there mixed well. And now to open the corn. Now, I did mention that I got the wrong one. So it's not necessarily the actual corn I wanna be using, but I am still gonna scoop out as much as I can and toss it right in there because we really need that sweetness from the corn. Not so much the juices. I'm gonna say that I'm gonna use about a half a can. There we go. Just toss that right there. And again, let's give it a good stir. Oh, the corn already looks beautiful in here. Oh, beautiful. It smells delicious you guys okay so I'm gonna try to show you what it's looking like at the moment though it's quite hot and I don't recommend that you try to pick this up but check it out guys it's getting up there it's gonna be a nice portion and we are gonna have some leftovers to work with make super easy meal prep and with the weather changing, these are some super tasty dishes. We're getting more into some easy comfort food now. But we had a great run for the summer dishes. All right, guys. So we're simply going to go ahead, check that the rubber piece is in there. And we're going to seal our Instant Pot. We're now going to press Cancel. We're going to press Meat. And we're going to cook 
this for 10 minutes. Now, you do want to allow maybe an extra five for it to continue to heat up and get to the temperature that we need to work with. So it might take about another 15 minutes. But as soon as we return, it's that simple, guys. We'll be able to put this dish together up next. Okay guys, so our timer has gone off for our Instant Pot. I've released the pressure and I'm simply letting it cool down. So now would be a good time to either disconnect it and let it sit and heat it up later, or you can simply just leave it on and wait for people to be ready to eat. But anyways, side note, here is the moment where you taste it and you decide, is it maybe too sweet for me or is it too salty or does it need more sweetness or more salt so depending on your diet and what you prefer to do you choose what you want to do but I did go ahead and add half a packet of the red Sazon Goya and don't forget that we have salt and pepper if you prefer to do that and now I think mine is exactly where I want it to be also don't forget I mentioned that we were gonna be using some simple garlic toast Super easy go-to, I get it at ShopRite. And we're simply gonna pop our pieces in there one or two at a time at 400 degrees for four to five minutes and there you have it if you want the garlic toast. Now, don't forget too, we have choices. So for me, I like to spice it up a little bit. And I definitely like to sprinkle some shredded cheese, a couple extra drops of hot sauce, a little bit of sour cream and if you have it and if you like it I love a little bit of avocado just for a refreshing bite in there all right guys but we're gonna let this cool down for about like maybe five more minutes and then we'll be able to serve I'll see you then okay guys so it's cooled down enough and I've already gotten the chance to toast my little piece of garlic bread. I love it. It goes so well with this chili. Okay, but you can always use rice too if that's your preference. This goes very well with lots of things. So anyways, I am going to be making my portion. So let's just grab a nice ladle, give that a good stir. And let's go ahead and place that right here. Maybe a little more. And guys, it's perfect. It's not watery. It has a great consistency. There's still some juice in there, so it's not too dry. It smells amazing. So, you guys do know I'm obsessed with the um, Sharp American, so I am going to sprinkle a little bit of that in there. So, I've already chopped it up a bit. And I like to kind of press it into the chili so that it melts, it's even tastier. All right. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle maybe about four to five drops of hot sauce because I love it spicy. We are gonna go ahead and sprinkle a little bit of that Mexican style shredded cheese. Oh, delicious, guys. We're going to do a dollop of sour cream. Right on top. Combat that extra spiciness. And last but certainly not least, I told you guys I love a refreshing bite of avocado. So let's go ahead and do that. And I just go ahead pinch of little pieces and circle the plate so I have a nice even bite of everything. Oof. I can't tell you how much I've been craving some of these winter dishes. I am a summer girl. I am a tropical girl. Okay, I was born and raised in Costa Rica. But Ah, I do enjoy the food that comes with the winter time, the fall, the cozy comfort food. So this is one of them. Mmm. All right. If you want to be a little extra, 
go ahead and sprinkle in a little basil. Just on the top. And guys, I'm going to come around and show you this deliciousness. I am so looking forward to this dish. Check it out. It's beautiful. Like I said, I love the garlic toast. Super easy. And check that out. I love some chili. It's kind of with a hint of Hispanic because I do like adding all those other ingredients. But let's take a very well-deserved bite. Okay. I believe the cheese has melted and this has cooled down enough. But let's try Mmm. Oh my god, you guys. Delicious. Now, let's go in with my extraness, the garlic bread. And I just like dipping it in the juice. Mmm. Mmm. What a perfect crunch. Mmm. And the garlic and butter. Oh, so compliment this. You guys, thank you so much for joining in again on another episode of Little Tika and Big Eats. I am totally looking forward to all these upcoming dishes in the fall and winter time. I can't wait to share them with you guys. I hope that this was like super easy for you while you're on the go. Um, I know I keep saying back to school, but it's what we're experiencing and I'm sure a lot of you are too. I am certain that your family is going to love this and request it again and again. Freezes well and it works well as meal prep too. So, once again, cheers to us for trying something new. Enjoy guys and I'll see you again on the next episode. Mwah! As always, ciao!